This is Twit. This Sunday, uh, the big, Samsung's big event in Barcelona to unveil the Galaxy S9 uh, is occurring. But uh, like it often does, details leak out. And now we have a lot of details about the Galaxy S9. So we're going to dive in. First off, the German tech site, winfuture.de, uh, basically spilled the beans on all these uh, sp- on all these uh, uh, leaked, I don't want to say spoilers, but they're not really spo- uh, yeah. maybe they're spoilers. spoilers. Yeah. Spoilers some. <laughs> so there's tons of S9 pictures that are revealing a, the similar design to the display as the Galaxy S8, which is what we kind of speculated that it wouldn't really go, you know, you know, too far depart from the S8 design. Um, we're also seeing in these photos the fingerprint sensor below the rear-facing camera. Um, the S9 Plus will have dual cameras on the back. Uh, both phones' rear cameras will feature a variable aperture system that switches between f/2.4 and f/1.5 as needed. Uh, so a lot of focus on the camera, which again, isn't that big of a surprise because in the teaser, you know, kind of the, the promoting stuff, they, they were, uh, their, their promotional materials highlighted, you know, kind of photos as a, as a piece of it. Um, but there's some other interesting leak pieces of info here. Uh, the leaks also confirm quote unquote intelligent scan that combines facial recognition and iris scanning for secure access. So evolving the facial recognition, adding iris scanning, make it into one big bundle. So it's even more secure. Um, our good old buddy Bixby will be getting an update uh, and still functioning off of a dedicated button. Uh, and there'll be a new Samsung app called Asup. 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 For, real, for real-time location sharing with other users. Um, and then finally, uh, as Victor mentioned, Samsung teased a 3D emoji feature similar to the Animoji on the iPhone X uh, in one of its teaser promo videos. <laughs> Uh, so there's a lot there uh, to play off of. There was a full uh, these the the Animoji ripoff will cut not ripoff but their attempt at it uh, appears might be will be full body emoji with customizable clothing and things like that, which is curious. And oh. I thought it was great to see friend of the show Tim Schofield um, QB King seventy seven on Twitter as a, a bit of a source of some of the of some of this data. He's got he had a whole little uh, a little tweet storm with some info about the S nine. So lots to talk about. What do you guys make of this stuff? A sub. A sub. Is that how, how you're supposed to say that? It's U H S S U P. A sub. Like what's up? Is that kind of what it is? Like wasabi. Was wasabi? Yes. Yeah, exactly. Sadly, sadly, it sounds like an inappropriate attempt to say something Asian-y. Like it's like uh, it doesn't. I'm worried about that. Yeah. A sub. Location sharing. Uh, I mean, it's yeah. okay. Sure. We kind of. Wow. Okay. Maps has location sharing. Like we can already <laughs> really do that. Uh, but say so that will that will never be a thing that stops Samsung from rolling out their own version of this. Um, so I guess if Samsung's selling a heck of a lot of phones, which it does, and uh, you know all those phones can talk to each other with us up. A sub. Sure. Okay. And people won't be accidentally covering the camera lenses with their fingers when yes. they unlock their phones. It's oh, true. I'm so happy the fingerprint sensor. I do like moved. the way the back the back looks on this phone. Yeah compared to last year's. But I'm not like super, I'm not super excited this year. No? For all these new phones. Cause I already have the perfect phone in my hand. It's the Pixel 2. <laughs> I don't really need anything else. I'm so very happy. Time stops still. I'm very happy where I am. Yeah. And I, you know, you, maybe it's comes with age. I don't know, but you know. You're, you're maturing. I feel really mature. Do mature. you not have you, an emoji envy? I have no an emoji envy because I have AR stickers. Also because we're adults. Also because I am an adult. <laughs> yes, or, or supposed to be an adult. Or but um, <laughs> but but Flo, do you think that this is a, com- a competitor for the perfect phone? Like, do you is like it, would this make you consider getting something other than the Pixel Two? No. No. See? No. I'm not I really you're Samsung fan club. No. No. Just not okay. No, because not- what's I'm seeing this shift to everybody building like their own ecosystem. Yeah. So now if I choose somebody else, then I have to go be with somebody else and like the friends that they hang out with versus like the people that I've become comfortable with. Yeah. And the people that I'm comfortable with are my Google Home, my Google Home Mini, you know, on these other things in my house. It's like the messaging nightmare, but expanded to Full on, full phones. I just, brands. well, yeah, I see it just beyond <laughs> phones. I'm like, all right, Samsung. So I see this like push to go towards this very like platform heavy, this, this ecosystem that's very much a platform. So it's like, if I choose Samsung, I'm choosing the Samsung platform and it just feels so 
Like it, it doesn't feel like, oh, I can choose Samsung and then still be a part of this. It feels like now I have to choose a route. I think I know the thing that'll win you over. What? Flo. Uh, it's pretty, pretty big news, but the Samsung Galaxy S9 series is going to introduce a new uh, ringtone. Mm -hmm. According to the company, they say this, listening to this year's piece by Johnson, you will find that the notes arouse the most pure fundamental elements of the human sentiment okay, let's see. that often remain hidden in our wow. daily lives. In this way, the latest version of Samsung's brand sound has the power to relax the mind and heal the soul, thus resonating with all who hear it, regardless of their age. So that's what you're missing. You're you know what's really funny? Can we about hear that? it? What's, what's, <laughs> yeah. what's really funny about that is that I was read I was reading about ringtones earlier today, and I was thinking, you know, I think 2018 might be the year ringtones make a comeback. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. What is what is the ringtone? Or is this an alarm clock? No, this is the ringtone. Okay. It doesn't really scream. Answer me now. No. It's more like. But then it's a, this is well, so the original yeah. used to go. Do, 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 do. Like, cause that's like the Samsung uh, jingle. Yeah, and so this is like a long orchestral, like piano version of that. Do, 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 do. Okay. Or however that little jingle goes. This is, does not instill you to say, answer the phone. No, I mean, if this, a, this, I mean, it's, it's actually an interesting conundrum. If a ringtone is too good, you don't want to answer the phone. You don't want the song to stop. True, right. but is this Samsung's way of saying sorry for the PTSD a lot of people have <laughs> from that whistling text message <laughs> yeah. ringtone? Which, that one? Exactly. Oh that my one. God, the first time I so heard that, been, oh. That's eight years of pain that people have been <laughs> yes. feeling around the world. Maybe this is Samsung's way of saying sorry. They're unraveling it a little bit. But then, obviously, we're listening to the ringtone in this context. Yeah. If the device, the Samsung S9, has good speakers this ringtone may sound significantly different. Exactly. From the device. Exactly. Sure. And what a be better way to do that than to commission a song <laughs> to be to be made. I don't even uh, compose. Which you can, Composed. so you can listen to the song through your S home or Shom. Your Shom. 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 <laughs> Ecosystem. Also, I know that in this Android world, yes, you can use like different phones. Like it's all supposed to be interconnected, but I just... I just am so satisfied with the Google experience. It's kind of hard for me to really. Wow! Wait. So are we? See, we actually are seeing a shift. Like, are you are you burning your Samsung draft card and you joining up with? Are you crossing the border to Google or what's going? It's. This is controversial. I know. It's, <laughs> I, don't I just. Know where this I is feel going. like I just it. Uh, it's yeah. It's well, Google. This is an end of an era. This, this is, is end statement. of an era right here. It's Google all the it's way down. Definitely a subject right. to discuss. I mean, I have a Chromebook. I have like a million <laughs> smart speakers in my house. Everything's a freaking Chromecast. We we can definitely discuss this in this week this year in Tizen. <laughs> is that still a thing? Is that a thing? Yeah. I'm sh yes. Well, Samsung's no, smart home yeah. ecosystem <laughs> runs on Tizen. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. I forget about that.